Leatherman, one of the highest quality names in multi-tools. I thought, how could you go wrong with buying a Leatherman? But there's something that has prompted me that was actually important enough for me to make a video to tell you why not to buy a Leatherman. And that is quality control. I have five Leathermans on this table, and out of all five of them, one of them has a working pair of scissors. I'm basing this off of Swiss Army Knife scissors, this one and this one, which blow the Leatherman scissors out of the water, hands down. This Leatherman Blast is the only one I've got that had a decent pair of scissors on it that worked. The Leatherman Squirt had so much play, so much wiggle room, side to side like this, that I don't even carry it. It's not even a useful tool anymore. And I, I bought multiple Leathermans, all around, you know, $20, $25. And I thought, you know what, maybe because I spent a little less money on those multi-tools, the quality was slipping and I just need to spend more money. Well, my buddy, Tactophil, went and bought an $80 juice. Pulls it brand new out of box. Tries, goes to cut through a piece of paper. And to no avail, the scissors don't work. Let's see if I can focus here. There's grind marks. If you see them, all those teeth right there at the tip right here. That, I don't know if you can hear it, but yeah, they're, they're useless. $80 on a multi-tool and the scissors don't even work? Leatherman seriously needs to improve on their quality control because this, this is unacceptable. There's other multi-tool manufacturers out there who don't have this problem. Alright, so what you're looking at is the replacement juice that I got from Amazon and it has the exact same grind marks in the blade. They can be resharpened and fixed, but out of the package from Leatherman, you should get working scissors. Alright, now I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm not just going to say why not to buy a Leatherman. Well, let's start with a piece of paper. Wow, that will cut a piece of paper. Will it cut a piece of cardboard? Not, it's, it's stuck right here and it really doesn't do a very good job. So this can't, the Leatherman juice isn't even making it all the way through cardboard because of the huge jagged uh, sharpening marks. At the back of the blade though, towards the base, when you, if you push the rope in there, where the blade is good, it will cut right through it, like a normal pair of scissors. But towards the tip, oh, towards the tip where the grinding marks are, see? Nothing. Just phrase it. Here we have a Leatherman Wingman. These are the most disappointing pair of scissors. Actually, now the the Leatherman Squirt was probably the biggest disappointment to me. It'll do fine up until cardboard. Once you get to string, or this is just nylon string from Home Depot. It's 50 pound test. It's not even as good as paracord. See how it's folding the scissors? I'll keep it straight. It's just not going to cut it. And just to show you, like, there are things out there that can cut it. This is a Swiss Army Knife Classic. This is usually about 10 bucks. Right through. The blade isn't quite long enough to get a clean cut. Here, let me force it to the back. There you go. Now, Leatherman Squirt. We'll move to, well, let's just show you on paper. 
they, these pair of scissors, when they close, actually sit on other tools. So it doesn't, it's got so much blade play. The only way to use them is to squeeze the pair of scissors together. Which once you start cutting larger material, it gets very difficult. It hurts your fingers. It's just not very good. And these won't just won't cut this. They get forced apart. Maybe if I kind of saw through. Yeah, no. I I really think you should get a working pair of scissors on your Leatherman. Here is a Leatherman Blast. This has a great pair of scissors. Here is paper. Cut all day long. Cardboard. Cut. And now to the string. No problem. <laughs> these don't want to separate the strings all the way. See, these ones aren't even perfect. They work though. A lot better than the rest. So I got done filming and editing and everything and realized I forgot two of the tools to show you during the cut test. So here they are. Here I have the Leatherman Style CS. This is the, they have one with pliers and these are the dedicated scissors. But yeah, see these are, the blade's fully closed and not cutting it. Maybe if I sit there and get a real ugly cut. Really. Yeah, these are just terrible. These really have not been used at all. And they're still like that. Here I have another pair of uh, Swiss Army knife scissors. And, uh,. We'll show these cutting. That was pretty darn easy. Minimal effort, honestly. Another good thing about these Swiss Army knife scissors that I really love is that when I get them real dirty in the larger pairs of scissors, I don't know if you can see that, they have a flat head to take them apart. This also comes in handy when you're resharpening them. You guys, you just seen my video, and I wanted to talk to you about something. I'm not saying Leatherman makes crappy tools. I just notice something, and I bring it to people's attention. I feel like it's a valid point, and I know a lot of you guys are going to hate what I have to say. You're not going to want to accept it because you have your egos invested in your $80, you know, expensive multi-tools and all this, or you may not like my opinion and you have every right to, but please like and share this video. It's an honest statement, honest review. Even if you don't like it, please don't just dislike it and hate on it. You can if you want to, but this is a valid point.